guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be taking a look at the iJet Nav wireless remote system uh, for various iPod models. Um, this is a nice way to uh, hook up your iPod. It has a little receiver down here and then you have the uh, wireless remote control that has up to a 150 foot range and uh, it'll travel through walls, around corners. Um, it's a pretty good idea to have um, for instance, if you want to have your iPod in your backpack or whatever, and a way to wirelessly, you know, control the unit without having to take it out and scroll through everything, you know, put on your favorite playlist or whatever. So let's go ahead and jump ahead and unbox this, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. First thing I see. Um, is a uh, RCA adapter. This is for your home stereo system. You can plug this into your auxiliary in, plug this into your iPod and be able to use this. I'll give you an example here in just a moment. I see an, a 3.5 millimeter female to male adapter and you'll notice on both of these they're shaved off. This is, uh, allows it to be compatible with the iPod touch and then we have the actual receiver unit that you plug into your iPod this does have the pass through which is a very nice feature we'll get into that here in just a moment as well we have the remote control which is water resistant has a lanyard hole on the side there is a lifetime guarantee or warranty on this unit it uses a CR2025 battery it has a recessed surface I'll try to get it there um, a little rim around here so if it's in your pocket you don't accidentally trigger any of the functions or anything like that. Um, so you have play, pause. This also acts as, as a standby for your iPod unit. You have volume down, volume up, track advance, previous track. If you press and hold, um, for instance on the play and pause, you can press play, pause, but if you hold it, it sets it to standby and shuts the unit down temporarily. Um, if you press and hold the forward button, it'll advance the track. We'll get into that here in just a moment. So. Um, nice little features on that. Comes with a clip unit, okay? So you pop the remote inside there, and it does have a couple of various, a thicker tail unit for that, and then one that's more designed for the belt. So let's go ahead and try these on here. So, <clears throat> one thing I notice here, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for quick release, but when, you, when that latches down in there, um, you know, you are able to simply pop that off if you want to use it like a quick release system. So that's about the thickness that could be for a backpack or luggage or, you know, any type of various thing. Visor in your car, you know, pop it up on the on the visor and stuff like that. And then the smaller one is actually more it's thinner, so it's more for the belt, you know, kind of clip it on your belt and have your remote control with you. Okay, so let's get into the functionality of this unit. Let me go ahead and pop it out of the holster here. Alright, so we're going to take a, I'm using iPod uh, 5G for the demonstration purposes. Oh, sorry, girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Alright, um, so first thing you want to do is um, make sure it's not in hold, okay, on your iPod or whatever. Go ahead and activate it. You're going to want to go into a playlist, so go ahead and, you know, get into your playlist. And if you want, you can go ahead and hit the button and have it start playing or whatever. Before you plug the uh, receiver unit in, let me zoom in here for you guys just a little bit. Before you plug in the receiver, you have to make sure that your iPod is in fact turned on. Because if it's off and you plug it in, it's not going to recognize it. So just make sure, you know, that your screen is on and everything. So go ahead and plug this into the bottom of the unit like that. And it's now active. So we'll take the remote control and just to show you right there so it's automatically started playing the music I'm gonna pause and let me plug my speaker in here for demonstration purposes this would represent this cable if you had it hooked into your home stereo system okay so I hit the play button adjust the volume volume down next track Fast forward, and then if you want to go into standby, press and hold the play button, and it puts it into standby. Very nice. Okay, so picture this. You know, you can have it hooked into your home stereo. You pre pretty much don't have to remove this at all. 
but if you want to plug in, put this in your backpack and plug in your regular headphones coming you know, out of this unit, then all you need on your travels is going to be your remote control because you're going to be able to control everything. This keeps you from having to pull this out constantly and mess with it and everything. Very nice design. So what I was talking about on the iPod Touch, um, as you guys, anyone who owns iPod Touch knows this, that you have trouble plugging stuff in and having headphones at the same time. Having the shaved edge on this like that allows you to be able to plug that into the bottom of an iPod Touch. So, you know, this is very well thought out by um, the iJet company there. Same thing on the home stereo connector. Shaved off of the edge there so you can use it with the iPod Touch if you want. So, um, but of course for the 5G that I'm using right now, the headphone jack is up top like that. Um, so. Also does come with the basic instruction manual. Okay. But I've noticed on their website they have a very detailed instruction manual on the product page. So um, the first link below will be to the individual product um, page for this item. And if you scroll down that page, you can get all the specs and the user manual in a PDF format and everything. So um, on the overall, I really like the concept of this. Let me go and plug this back in here real, real quick. Um, I like the fact that they built the wireless part um, because the dock extender I had that, that I used in my Blue Mikey review is um, just a slim extender, okay? This actually has a, the remote hardware in it, you know, that functions with the remote control, and I like that a lot because the size has not changed, but it's the same product, and it's got a huge bonus with it. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much as far as the functionality and everything. This is really good plastic. Like I said, it's water resistant. It has a lanyard hole on the side. It uses a CR2025 battery, lithium, and uh, has a five rated for five years of battery life on Just to let you guys keep tuning in. This is all of the other stuff. Some of this I'll be giving away. Some of this will be review. So we're gonna be doing the Elite next, and then the Pro Dock Station from uh, buyijet.com also. And then here's the original slim version of the dock extender. So keep your eyes open over the next couple of days for the reviews on the rest of those products. And um, jump over to uh, buyijet.com. Let me check the price on this for you guys real quick. It is currently $24.97 on the website. So if you go to buyijet.com, click on one-way products, you will see it listed as the iJet Basic Wireless RF Remote Receiver for iPod. And this is the black model. And then down at the bottom of the page, you'll see um, the PDF manual there. Pretty good instructions and everything. So, okay, um, there you have it. It's my review of the uh, iJet Nav. And this box is marked standard for this. Yeah, iJet Nav Standard Black. So uh, jump over to their website, check it out. If this review helped you guys out, please post a comment. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.